Hello and welcome to Easter Road for tonight's Cinch Premiership clash with Ross County. The games are coming thick and fast at the moment and with just two games to go before the World Cup break kicks in, there's three important points on offer this evening. It's Hibs against Ross County and kickoff comes from 7.45pm. Yes, hello and welcome to Easter Road for tonight's Cinch Premiership game, Hibs against Ross County. Of course, the two sides have already met already this season. That was a 2-0 win for Hibs up in Dingwon. Here is how the action unfolded that afternoon. Yes, it was a great performance last time we played Ross County up in Dingwon. Joining me to see if we can do it again this evening. I'm delighted to be alongside two of the Hibernian women's players, Shannon McGregor and Siobhan Hunter. What, what a game it was for you at the weekend, Shannon. Talk us through that one. How delighted were you to get that win and into the final of the Sky Sports Cup? Yeah, it was amazing. It was a great feeling for such a big thing. Obviously, our history in the Cups is big and it means a lot to us. So, yeah, it was an amazing feeling. Yeah, and, and Shiv, what was it like for you to play? And obviously, defending ha had that 2-1 lead with a few minutes to go. It must have been a nervy time. Yeah, I think we were probably comfortable at 2-0, but when it goes 2-1 um, in the last 15 minutes, you do start to panic. So, yeah, we got a little bit deeper than we maybe should have. But, yeah, to get the result we did is, is great for the club. Yeah, but we'll have highlights and we'll, we'll be able to chat to that game in, in more detail later on, on the show. But in terms of the, the first team then, we're going to preview that one for, for a little bit. And as I mentioned at the start of the... The programme, it's, it's so tight in between third and eighth place, which only, I think, three points separated us. And how, how, how have you seen the league so far this season? It's really anyone can beat anyone. Is that the way that you've seen it? Yeah, it's really tight. I think every team is, is, is really close. So each game is important as it is um, to get the three points. And hopefully tonight, Hibs can get the win. Yeah, obviously coming in off the, the back of disappointing defeat in Aberdeen, 4-1 in the end, but it wasn't really a 4-1 game. No, I think it was a harsh result. I think uh, if you look, actually watch the game, it probably wasn't a 4-0 game, a uh, 4-1 game, sorry. But yeah, uh, it's one of those games that one of them you have to probably put aside and focus on tonight. And I'm sure the, the guys will have a reaction tonight. And hopefully again, like I say earlier, we can get the win. Yeah, what do you think we need to do tonight then to make sure we get a, a positive result? Just probably keep, uh, keeping the ball and when we can, can we get a goal, get an early lead and then it makes it a little bit more comfortable. I think um, on Friday night we, we never took our chances and again at the end of the day that, that's what wins games. So yeah, hopefully tonight we can take our chances when it's there. Yeah, earlier I caught up with Lee Johnson who expects to get six points from the next two in what is a massive game and week for the club. Here's what he had to say. Lee, it's a big week for the club, two important games before the World Cup break commences. How important are these next two for the club? Yeah, they're big. Um, they're always big. I think every game feels big. Every game on the back of the last game uh, feels even bigger. Um, we're pretty early days into the season, but the, the league table started to take shape. I think, um, you know, there's really important factors with us and our progression. And I think this is a good test for us to see whether we've progressed, how we progressed over the next two games, you know. Um, we feel like we're in a good place, um, but we feel like we need to continue to focus on bits that we haven't been doing so well um, and, and keep improving the bits that we are doing extremely well. So it's a good game for us, it's a good test. Um, it's been a good week for the club in terms of the young lads doing fantastically well away in Nantes. That was a, a brilliant, brilliant win, you know, uh, a really tough game. and. I think uh, the betting odds I saw was like 12 to 1. So to 
Uh, they don't normally get it wrong, these bookies, but they do when it comes to our academy game. So uh, that was really good to see that and a fantastic win. So delighted for them and that's give everybody a, a nice lift. And obviously the women's team as well with a really good win that takes them into a final. So it'd be great for us to provide the hat trick um, Tuesday and then obviously we'll worry about Saturday after that. Yeah, obviously the game on Tuesday, Ross County up next, have played them already this season 2-0 up in Dingwall. What kind of challenge do you expect from them this time around? Well, it was a great win for us up in Dingwall. It was a tough game. Um, we expect a tough game. Obviously, they'll be buoyed by a really good win. But um, I think the boys have, are focused. You know, we've got that feeling of sort of frustration, almost anger um, with the result and what went on at Aberdeen away. So, you know, we're back home. We love playing at home. We love playing in front of our crowd. And um, it's up to us to obviously put on a performance to, to send everybody home happy. Majority of the times we have a very difficult game, as we know, but like what we're working on, we believe, um, can at least give us a foothold in the game to then go and be creative and dynamic in the final third. Yeah, you mentioned our home form. We won four of our last five in the league at, at Easter Road. What do we need to make sure we do to make sure we get the result on Tuesday? Well, we certainly need the supporters. You know, they've been absolutely fantastic for us, both home and away. And, um, you know, like, we love the fact that we, we're building this connection. We have let them down at times with a couple of two or three performances throughout the season. But they've always been there to pick us up and, and uh, help us bounce back. And generally, we have bounced back. So um, this becomes a game that the focus is on, is on maximising the points. You know, we, we want the points. And the best way to do that is obviously to be together, to be unified and, and to put in a a strong performance in on the ball, off the ball, and obviously the transition. And uh, if we're weak in any of those areas, um, teams and clubs like Ross County have got the opportunity to capitalise. So attitude has to be A grade, um, and then hopefully the performance levels and the little bit of luck you need every now and again comes from that. Mm -hmm. Finally, then, just in terms of team news, can you give us an update on, on the Martin Boyle situation and also likes of... Kevin Nesbitt and Aidan McGeady have been back training. Are we likely to see them involved? Unfortunately not. Um, three very good players um, not involved. Um, I think Nizzy could have been, like potentially, but for a 20-minute spell. But myself and the medical team and the coaching staff just believe that it's better for him, um, given the fact that we're only two games away from the break and one game is on AstroTurf as well. Uh, better to, to elongate that period to make sure that uh, you know the success rate between like seven and a half months and eight and a half months goes up quite a lot um, in terms of games and reoccurrence of the injury so he's in a great place he's doing really well um, he's trained really hard he's not having any break he, he's, he's coming in and um, he's going to work on every element of his game and his fitness in that period and I think it would be great for him to come back flying and it's like really will be like a new sign in that one. Um, Gies is quite a similar situation, um, not quite ready yet, uh, say for the bench, but still feeling a little bit of an impingement when he's striking the ball, but that's probably the last um, phase to go. Uh, and again, that time and that healing time is important. Um, and then Martin Boyle is unfortunately not available uh, for the next couple of games um, and gets passed over in four or five days to the care of uh, the Australian medical team um, and the Aspire unit in Qatar, I believe it is, which is a great sort of medical slash sports science facility um, to see whether or not, if selected, um, that he'll be going to the World Cup. So uh, he, he is in a good place. It was the best case scenario in terms of the prognosis from the, um, from the specialist and from the scan results. Uh, and, and I know he's found that difficult at times, but he's also very positive and very professional. And he's got two hats on at the moment, one Hibs and one Australia. So uh, uh, from a personal level, of course, we want him, want him to go, but he's got to be right um, and got to protect his medium and long-term future at the same time. Thanks for the update and thank you for speaking to us. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Yes, that was Lee Johnson there who gave us an injury update on Kevin Nisbet, Aidan McGeady and Martin Boyle. Earlier today it was announced that Martin Boyle will be involved in that Australia World Cup squad. Shannon, what an opportunity that will be for Martin. 
Yeah, I think he's thoroughly deserves it. I think everyone knows how much of an impact he makes to him, so he does deserve that call up, and I think it'll be a dream come true for him. Yeah, absolutely, a, a fantastic opportunity for for Martin. But before the World Cup, there's obviously two very important games, Shiv, and, and how much will, will Hibbs miss him? Do you think? Yeah, it's a huge loss. I think for um, the player that Martin Boyle is, what he brings, he brings a lot of goals, assists. So, yeah, it's a huge loss. But I think it's time for players to step up and maybe take their shot at it and then hopefully they can do the same that he has been doing. Yeah, definitely. And another player that the gaffer mentioned was, was Kevin Nisbet. He won't be involved tonight or on Saturday, but when we get him back after the, the World Cup, he, he described him as almost a new signing for us and he could have a real impact next. Yeah, I think he's right. I think we've not seen him in a long time and you can see I'm doing so much hard work off the pitch and he's in good condition. I think for him it's probably a, a bad timing that he's back at this point, but it gives him extra weeks to work hard and, and be ready for when the World Cup is over. And yeah, like the manager says, he's like a new signing and the standard player that he is, it's only going to be good for him. Yeah, with, with two games to go then before the World Cup break, how is important is it that we, you know, get two wins almost and really take some momentum going into the winter break? Yeah, it's huge. I think you need to get six out of six points. Um, it'll take you into a position in the league that, that's comfortable and, and hopefully points clear. But no, like like we say earlier on, it's a tough side about playing tonight and hopefully at, at the end of the day we get the six points out of six. But yeah, every team's in the same situation, so we have to make sure that we're, we put ourselves in the right place. Yeah, and, and Ross County will, will come here probably with a bit of confidence after their, their win at the weekend against St Mirren. Is it, do you think it's a difficult time to play them or do you think the players won't really, won't really take that into consideration? I, I, probably a little bit of both. I think the timing of it is, is probably good for uh, Ross County. But look, Hibs seen a reaction from the game on Friday night, so it's probably a good time for Hibs to, to get a game thick and fast. And when you're a footballer, you want the games to come quick after a loss and, and redeem yourself again. So hopefully, yeah, tonight will be a good show. Yeah, definitely. It's time now to take a quick commercial break. But after the break, we'll hear from Rocky Bashiri and we'll also hear from Shannon and Shiv on what was a fantastic win in the Sky Sports Cup. Back in a moment. Simplexity Travel is made up of some of London's leading bespoke travel managers. 
Simplexity specialise in luxury travel services for corporate and private clients, groups and individuals who lead busy lives. Simplexity will simplify challenging schedules and complex trip itineraries, ensuring our clients always travel with complete peace of mind and a perfect luxury. Simplexity Travel, making luxury travel simple. Welcome back to Easter Road as we continue to build up to Hibs against Ross County, which kicks off at 7.45. Before the break, we heard from Lee Johnson who gave us an injury update on Kevin Nisbet and Martin Boyle, who are both unfortunately unavailable for this one. But one player who's returning from injury and has been great since his return is Rocky Bashiri, and I caught up with him earlier in the week. Rocky, two important games upcoming this week. Ross County at Easter Road. How have preparations been going for that one? Yeah, it was a short preparation because obviously we played Friday, but we are prepared to give a positive reaction after uh, Aberdeen. Yeah, the game's come second fast, as you said. Uh, it's a good chance to get back to winning ways after what was a disappointing game in Aberdeen. Exactly, we were all disappointed because if you watch the game back, you know, you don't want to concede soft goals and etc. But we, we, we will give a reaction. We prepared ourselves for tomorrow and we want to have a positive result at home. Yeah, what do we need to do differently to make sure that we get a positive result against Ross County? No, uh, you know, we want to we want to keep clean sheets. You know, it's so important, very important. We want to keep clean sheets. We want to score more goals, so we want to finish teams, we want to finish our actions well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. um, what kind of challenge do you expect from Ross County? Tough game, I think, from what I remember from last season on loan was a hard game. But I remember we won and we had a clean sheet, so if we can repeat the same scenario, it will be good. Yeah, in terms of your own performances then, you've obviously come back from injury. How is the body feeling? How are you feeling? No, I feel good, I feel well, uh, I feel well in this system as well, and uh, yeah. Yeah, how much are you enjoying playing in, in this system alongside Ryan Porteous and, and Paul Hanlon as well? No, I feel good, like I said in my last interview, and um, like the team put me in position where I can be at my best, where I can show my strengths first, and individual, I enjoy it playing there. Mm -hmm. and two man of the match performances since your return. Do you feel you're getting back to your very best? Yeah, slowly we are, we are getting there, you know. There is still progression to do in some areas, so we just keep working. It's positive for myself. It's just a boost to make me work harder. Appreciate your time, Rocky. Good luck on Tuesday. Thank you. Well, Chef Rocky's had, had some doubters um, during his time here at, at Easter Road, but he's, you know, he's proved them all wrong. And how impressed with him have you been? Yeah, I think he's been a massive player for us this season. And I think, yeah, all the doubters that, that were probably there before probably aren't there anymore. So, yeah, he's, he's proved them wrong, like you say. And he's been a huge, huge defender at the back. Um, obviously, going forward and defending, he's been a great player. Mm -hmm. Jan, you've had a fair share of injuries yourself. How difficult is it to, to get back into the, the swing of things when you're recovering from, from such a difficult injury? I think when you first get your injury, you think that's the hardest part, but actually when you're back really fit and playing, that's probably the most difficult part to get back to who you used to play and how you used to play, I think. So yeah, it takes a long time. I think well, I'm just over a year back playing. I think I just feel like myself now. So yeah, it does take a long time and it, it is difficult. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's been some week for the club. Obviously, the under-19s progressed in the UEFA Youth League after they beat FC Nantes to set up a playoff tie, which has been confirmed against Borussia Dortmund. And for the women's team, it was an absolutely massive weekend as well. They beat Glasgow City 2-1 to progress to the Sky Sports Cup final. Here's a reminder of all the action. I was in the club, someone in the bar. Yeah. What's a man like you doing in a place like this? He said, 
Jan, I'm just watching the pictures back there and the highlights, reliving some good memories, was it? Yeah, definitely. It's amazing. And watching that back, you could just bring back all these. And Shiv, talk, talk us through the, the game then, because going into it, we obviously played Glasgow City a lot in the Cups before and had success, but what was the mood like in the camp, kind of going into the game? Yeah, I think semi-final um, is anyone's game, so we had a game plan to to kind of sit off them a little bit and then pounce when we can and I think we did that to a tee on, on Sunday and yeah every player on Sunday was great and I think we deserved the result that we got. Yeah definitely and Shannon, Tina scored both goals or we think it was, was both yeah. goals. Um, what what's she been like to play with because she's been a real great addition to the side? Yeah definitely, she's definitely a threat going forward and I think her pressing is something that we've never had in our team before so I think it was really beneficial on Sunday and obviously got us the two goals from it. Mm -hmm, yeah, definitely. And then sets up that massive game in the Sky Sports Cup final against Rangers at, at Tyne Castle as well. And it's going to be the first SWPL match that's on Sky Sports. How, how excited are you for that occasion? Yeah, I think it's just really important for Scottish women's football for coverage and for other people around the world just to watch our games. Obviously, we do get some coverage on BBC Alba and stuff, but Sky Sports is huge. and. I think it's only going to benefit us in the league going forward. Yeah, definitely. Um, in terms of Ranger, Rangers, then it'll be it'll be some final. You must be looking forward to it. Yeah, of course. It's going to be a difficult game, but it's a game we're looking forward to and a game we're looking to take the cup. So. Yeah, definitely. And there's plenty to look forward to in in the women's game over the while well, the World Cup is going on. There's plenty to look forward to here at Easter Road. Is the the Women's Derby as well, um, 5,000 tickets already being sold for that, hoping to break the record attendance again. Uh, it, it shows that women's football is going in the right direction, Shiv. Yeah, definitely. I think the coverage, like Shannon was saying, it is needed in the Scottish game and it's only a stepping stone, but it is one that we're really looking forward to. But yeah, games at Easter Road, we want to try and get the record breaking again and, and we're on our way to that and hopefully we get the Hibs fans here in their numbers. Yeah, definitely. And um, 
you were part of the team that, that, that played in that record breaking game at, at Easter Road last season and then made 250 appearances as well and you're on, on the pitch uh, our, our last home game what was that like as an experience for you? Yeah it was really special I think I was honoured to be here um, as a fan when I was younger but also to be part of the club for so long it's, it's so special and yeah just love playing for the club and hopefully many more to come. Yeah that's going to be in the next question <laughs> uh, have you got a target in mind is there a, a spe special number that you want to get to or, or anything? Uh, well I think Lou Stevens and he's at 550 so hopefully I can match him and yeah that'd be a great addition. <laughs> yeah definitely and well the lights have just come on here at, at Easter Road so it's just about time we've got a few moments left I want to get your score predictions for tonight's game I'll start with you Shatner. 3-0 3-0, yep. who's scoring? Um, Rocky, a header. <laughs> and I think Ryan Portis as well, maybe? Yeah, uh -huh, he's scored a few big goals already. Yeah. Obviously scored against Ross County as well. Chev, what are you thinking? Uh, I'll go for 2-0. Uh, I'll go for Rocky as well. And Chris Cadden. Chris Cadden putting yeah. on a show. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Well, Shiv, Sharon, thank you very much for joining me. Best of luck with the, the Edinburgh Derby here at Easter Road West season and, of course, that Sky Sports Cup final as well. Well, sadly, that is all that we have got time for on the Build Up Show. Remember, if you're an international subscriber, that you can watch full live coverage of Hibs v Ross County from Easter Road right here on Hibs TV. Kickoff is at 7.45 p.m. And for UK subscribers, you can listen along to the action from our commentators tonight, which is Cliff Pike and Kevin Harper. However you're following it, make sure you enjoy the game and come on the highways.